We're back with World of Horror. The first run through ended in failure on the fifth mission as uh, the enemies just became too much. And uh, I believe that we lost all of our reason, got thrown into a padded room while the old gods took over. Well, we're continuing on with a new run. And uh, this time around, I chose another color scheme. This one is Mythos. So this foreground is green, background is, is brown. I like how this one looks. There's a, there's, a, there's a few different good color schemes in this. Um, we're going to start a new story. And what we're going to do here... So we chose extracurricular activity the first time. And I think it says that this is a standard playthrough. So I don't know how much actually changes if we try this again. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to click on customizing the playthrough, in which it looks, seems like things can be pretty different. So it says one of the core ideas is modularity, mix and match various card packs. Uh, and we've unlocked a f not many. There's like some here that we have not. This one is the base game, which I assume you start off with. All cards I've unlocked through achievements which I don't know if there's a way of actually seeing from the game which ones those are. Additional four skins for random student allies. We're going to just use all the packs that we have right now. Now, it says that a tall man left a suitcase for us this morning. He said we'll know the password. And it seems that this is the... You can enter a seed for the, for the run. So it says you can randomize the seed, or you can just enter letters... You know, just enter your own seed. And I figured that since we're playing a horror game, and since we have five letters, uh, I think there's really only there's there's this, I think there's only really one seed that we that we should choose. I think there's an obvious one. Uh, so we're going to try the Eriko Seed and see what horrors this might unlock for us. Let's continue. Something strange is happening in our town. Well, we already know about this, about the robed figures gathering in the woods at night. People going missing? Disgusting creatures terrorizing. Technological progress of the modern era brings comfort. Like... CRT monitors and big cell phones but the old gods don't like our playing computer games and our cell phones they're returning to show us what's what but we will we will use our DeLorean and our handgun as we shoot the tentacles the end of the world is at hand and I guess we've identified this one town as the epicenter, the place that we will that we need to be to stop this from happening. All right, we can choose a character. We can choose Kiri Minami. Uh, she has plus knowledge, minus strength, starts with a spell. So she is brainy and knowledgeable in the occult, it sounds. Then there's... There's Aiko Takahashi. Uh, I guess this is who we were before, right? That kind of looks like her. She has plus dexterity, minus knowledge, starts with combat uh, speed bonus. And then there's Haru. He's a Yakuza driver. He has plus strength, minus knowledge, starts with cigarettes. I wonder how the cigarettes might be useful. But if we wanted the power character, maybe, maybe this is the brute force character. Then there's Mizuki Hamasaki. She's plus charisma, minus strength, starts with a random ally. Oh, she's a teen idol. So people like her. She's a people person. She's an extrovert. So um, she's charismatic. You can get other people to do what she wants, I suppose. We have Koji Tagawa, a photographer. Plus perception, minus dexterity, starts with a camera. So maybe he's more of a detective sort of person. He's very, uh, very perceptive, but slow. Um, hmm. 
you know, I think we'll try... Maybe... You know, maybe what we'll do... Since we have this choice... Maybe what we need to do... Is try a vote here. See... What the chat might want. Let me see if I can get this up. I say that, but I can't seem to get it up right now. The, the, the voting, that is. There should be. I probably should have prepped this earlier. Oh, actually, it's behind the game, isn't it? Okay, that might explain it. There it is. It was on a layer behind the game. Okay, so number one... Number one is Brainy Girl, Kiri. Number two is Swim Girl, Aiko. Number three is Yakuza Driver Guy, Haru. Number three is Teen Idol Girl, Mizuki. Number four, I should say. Number five is Photographer, Koji. Seems like number three... People want the Yakuza driver. I mean, it's kind of close between three and four. So it's either Yakuza driver or Teen Idol. They're pretty different character types. It does look like, however, that number three is going to take it as we count down. There's also a few people who want some pizza. And they could have made the difference in this vote, but they did not. We are going with number three. There. All right. Haru, Yakuza driver. Robbing that old abandoned manor was a mistake. With his friends dead and mutilated and a vengeful horror chasing him, no speed is too high. Is he being chased by a horror? It sounds like it might be. We have difficulty down here. Initiate. Cultist. True believer. We'll go with normal. Cultist seems to be the normal, normal difficulty. I think we'll just go with that. Let's go with continue. Additional modes will unlock as we progress. Classic mode, old gods are awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. End of the world is at hand. Oh, I, I do not have these unlocked. Okay, so we have to go with classic mode. Somewhere a group of people gathers trying to awake their master. Select the old god and click again to confirm our choice. There's Kathak Atarasu, the Spider God. There's Itothu, the Devouring Fire. As Ath Yalaz, the, the Towering Eye. And Goizo, the Thing Forsaken by God. Well, we already had Goizo. We never met Goizo, but that was from our first one. Um, can we get any stats? The terrible spider god, Kathak Atarasu, is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Eternal web, you cannot run from combat. The tough through devouring fire, the supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue has been recently discovered. It's currently waiting in the Museum of 000 for its long-awaited premiere. Entropy, both your damage and your enemies, is increased. As Yalath, the mad god favors astronomers and magicians, granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Athyaloth's bloated body closer and closer to Earth. Cosmic gift, casting spells cost reason, increases doom. Well, our, our Yakuza driver maybe is not an astronomer or magician. It seems like we're more like a brute, I would think. And what about Goizo? Banished to the other to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass, and the glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Mirror horror, resting increases doom penalty. Um Let's try this spider. It says we can't run from combat, but if our character is strong. Maybe our Yakuza driver will be better at combat? So maybe this is a good match. We will find out. We will see. The Eternal Web. 
Mm, yeah, so the old gods really can't escape from combat encounters. And here, here we are. Here is here are the the legs of the elder god. It's actually kind of smaller than I would expect an elder god to be, but you know, it's, it's still kind of big. It's kind of big. Okay, so your home, the lighthouse, nicotine withdrawal, curse mental. All combat actions are slower. 1.2x combat multiplier. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound very good for combat. If we use cigarettes, can we, like, nullify that? It did say we start off with cigarettes. Trinket addictive. Use plus one reason. Adds a new status. So if I smoke, I will gain reason. Okay. But I guess there's no reason to do that right now. We're at 17 and 17. Let's uh, go to our home. Mailbox is empty, except this one, as usual. Okay, gotta think of our next move. Watch some TV. We were shocked after what she did. Her voice was always so calm. I can click on things on this. I don't, I don't have a... V oh, can I get a VHS cassette? I don't have one now. I could turn this on and off. Looks like it can also dial numbers, but... I don't think in the last run we got any phone numbers to, to call, so... Maybe we just keep that in mind. We take a bath. It's always time for a bath. Let's see. Since we're just starting off... Uh, oh, we have an empty bottle? No, we, we don't. We need an empty bottle. Um, since we're just starting off, let's take the exp boost. I have five exp. Change clothes. Thug jacket. <laughs> Living that thug life. Bar brawl. Mafia. That's pretty stylish. Samurai? I, I kind of want to go with samurai. It's inappropriate. Okay, it says, it says we're wearing samurai. Even though when we go back here, we're only wearing a t-shirt. Um, take a peep through the peephole. Don't see anything weird right now. Alright, start a new mystery. What do we got? There's... Okay, school scissors. I mean, we already know what that one is. The eerie episode of Evolving... We know about eels. Crimson Cape. Uh, we did not get that one. Household Hell? I don't think we got that one. Found... F we did get found footage. Um, well, let's go to Evolving Eels, and let's see if we can get Kana to, uh, to, to be with us, since it seemed like she was, she gave us a permanent buff as long as we didn't sacrifice her. So let's start off with this. Here's Kana. All right. Well, why don't we travel to Seaside and get that, uh, get that. Oh, actually, can we, maybe we should travel to, I'm, oh, I have four funds. I can buy stuff if I go to the store. You know, like I didn't really do this last time. Shopping for items. Here's a dog. Now, people have informed me that maybe I should click on the dog. There we go. New achievement is unlocked. Dog has been clicked on. Actually, if I click on Z, it doesn't mention I can click on the nose. I guess it's a secret. All right. Buy items. Let's see. Two plus experience for each investigated location. That's not bad, because we investigate a lot of locations. Flashlight. Plus one perception. Okay, so our perception is seven, which is actually higher than our knowledge, so perception is not that bad. Sewing kit. We got this one last time. Yeah, we can heal ourselves with the price of one charisma. 
plus one dexterity until so permanent until the end of the mystery. Our dexterity is only six. Random discount item. Do I want to pay one fund to find out what that is? Or are my funds too important? Well, let's get this. Okay, so I have the compass. An old thing. Oh, different items now. Now we have steak knife. It's a one-handed weapon, damage 3, speed 65, chance to hit 70. Backpack, it allows an additional two inventory slots. I don't know if that matters too much. Inventory slots didn't seem to matter too much last time anyway. Cigarettes, if we want to get more reason. Hmm. Do we want to buy a weapon or do we want to just stick with finding a weapon? can also restock, which says re-roll the items, which costs 3% doom to see if we can get new items. Or we can use one fund to get a random discount item. Well, I want to do that. Because there's a number of things that can be bought with two funds, but nothing with one fund. So do I want to spend the fund on the random item? Or do I want to buy a steak knife? Let's... Let's at least find out what you get with the random item. I got... Em oh, empty bottle. It can be used to store liquids. And, uh... Let's see something. Okay, so that's there. Empty bottle cannot be equipped. I guess we could use our remaining fund for a random item. Another empty bottle! G good? Maybe it's good, I'm not sure. I don't know if we need two. <clears throat> but we have zero funds. Alright. We, we did what we did. I don't know if it was right, I don't know if it was the best use of money. But it's what we did. We are now going to investigate the seaside. Here we go. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. Well, of course we're going to take home the Eldritch statuette. It's heavier than it looks. Mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. But nothing I can do about it now. Uh, I guess we should go to the seaside again. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse carried to the beach by waves. Mm. So I last time I searched the body and I passed whatever check it was. Something I'm wondering about. When you get to like a, a stat check, does it is there anything on the screen that indicates what stat it's going to check? Because I don't remember which stat it is. So if I'm searching this body... What stat do you think it's going to use? Well, let's find out, I suppose. Dexterity. Okay, and that was my low one. Reaching for the body, you're attacked by several crabs that won't want to share your meal. Ouch! I'm being pinched by crabs. I lost two stamina. That is very uncool. I'm trying to be cool. Cool Yakuza member. You may be going crazy, but something's watching me from the sea. Oh no, I lost one reason. Because I went there. That Was that the outcome of this plot? Of this side quest? Do this side quest, you will lose one reason. Thanks. I guess let's search the apartment. While looking around... Okay, half-finished painting of a woman, her scale, ghastly pale yellow color. Only one choice. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Oh, charisma checks. Yeah, charisma is is kind of high. Unintimidating by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend, and we get five experience from that. 
All right, that turned out well, then. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. I still don't really know why Kana is so interested in this. But okay, let's go to school and break into the man's office. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Take a peek. Horrified. You gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Negative two stamina. I, I, I like impossible angles and enormous monoliths, though. But I guess our guy here doesn't. Twelve stamina. Neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars filled with weird eel-like fish, and we're going to take one home, as we know. It's freaky. We took one home, and we're like, no, don't bring it home. We have to live with this now. Well, too late. We're at the apartments. Right, envelope lying on a pillow in our bedroom. Oh, I have, yeah, so I have a secret admirer. And I got two funds at the cost of one reason. Well, at least we have money. We didn't have any money before. Wired Preacher. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming says the voice on the other line, other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts on an accent on puts an accent on real. Hello? Are you still there? Um well, we're we're interested in what you have to say. Tell me more about our real savior. You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said is the truth, humanity is doomed. Negative five doom, negative three reason. Okay. I made the doom go down a bit at the cost of reason. I don't think that was a good trade, though. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. We have to butt in and figure out what this person is doing for reasons. All right, investigate apartments, I guess. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Well, we're a tough man. Surely we're not afraid of this ma of whoever this is. Oh, dexterity check. It was a failure because our dex is low. Before you can enter the door's let answer the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in what, through the letterbox? Screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. Negative two reason. Oh no. Look, I am strong. I have high stir and cur. Also purr, but these checks are not really using that very often. What is he? What is our neighbor hiding in his apartment? Well, we're going to go to the seaside. Well, actually, what's uh? Let's go to the hardware store. What do we got in here? We got shovel for three funds, can of acid for two, carpenter hammer for two, crowbar for three. Let's see, carpenter hammer, uh, blunt one-handed stir. Damage 4, speed 75, chance to hit 40, small chance of recovering lost stamina after... Yeah, I remember this one had an effect. You might get some stamina back after defeating an enemy. It's also a strength weapon. Let's, uh, get this, I think. That might be good for us. Um... Get it out of our item storage. Should put burnt notes in the storage. Get out the hammer. Probably should put my bottles away. For that matter. Alright, let's investigate the seaside.
suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. The supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching, and we do not have arcane grasp, so all we can do is brace ourselves. Oh, there's, there's this. Got to remember to do that. Oh, strength, yeah, that was a strength check, so we succeeded. The sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. We leave the beach quickly, we got plus five experience. See, we are a strong man. We need more stat checks that that check our strength, because we are good at that. Stupid of Kana to break into the neighbor's apartment. We're going to bed. We spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where is she? Can I... You can't investigate your home. Okay. Oh, we wanted to know, can I take another bath? I guess not. Investigate the school. Right, we're in the kitchen. It's abandoned. The lights are off. Something is cooking in a large pot. We don't like the smell of it. Let's see what's cooking. You slowly remove the lid from the pot. A thick, smoky, vile reek fills your lungs. The look at the ingredients used to make this broth make you sick. We lost three reason. We, we will resolve. Khan has been missing since yesterday. We check the neighbor's apartment ourselves. Investigate the apartment. Right? Eels flailing around. Where is Kana? Check bathroom. There is dead man. Oh, we lost both reason and stamina because we saw this. Check bedroom. Here is Kana. We must go to a hospital. No, no, no. Uh, oh, do we lose reason if we do that? We know that we save Kana if we do that, but we lose three reason. Don't actually know what happens if we go to the hospital, but... We wa uh, the reason we're doing this this one first is so we get Kana. So maybe we'll... We know for sure we'll save her if we do this. So, all right. Here, all right, Kana, here we go. Here comes the airplane. So you countless tiny, tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. All right, we're in the hospital. People are horrified for good reason. Let's fall asleep. All right, Kana's okay. She's got an eye patch, but she's alive. She's feeling fine. All right, so we got ending A, uh, which is the same that we got the first time round, and we know that because we did this, Kana is now our ally. Um, so we lost a good deal of reason and some stamina. Could have gone better. Old God stirs. There's something wrong with tap water. It is black and oily and glistening. Oh, we're in Flint. It smells like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue, but no, the government will do nothing about it. All right, we got a, we got a key. Here we go. We think of our next move. Well, of course, what we're going to do as our next move is... Let's see. Let's get a, a bottle. Should I get two? Eh, we'll find out if we use two. I don't know if we do. Um, we can take a bath. Let's see. Oh, they didn't fix the water problem. You're not going to wash yourselves with that, but we can use bottled water, it seems. Well, our bottles are empty, so we could not. Well, that was a bad time for uh, for this bottle. I mean, the ba bad time for the bathwater to be uh, unusable now that I have two bottles. All right, we have to think of our next move as we are filthy and sweating because of no bath. And also, this is here. That statuette we got. It's here. Can we click on it? No. Oh, there's like something there we can click on. What is that? You could leave something to charge here. Oh, that's an outlet. I don't think I have anything to charge. Light switch. Nothing happens. Anything there? No? We can open that. I, I don't know if there's a reason to. 
Um, all right, so we have this beautiful thing in our home. Uh, I'm sure that'll only lead to good things. Watch TV. Minor earthquake in the seaside region has revealed an entrance to a partially flooded cavern system. Right, I believe some of the corridors could be man-made. Change our clothes. Uh, let's go with the stylish mafia clothes. Oh, anything else? Can we click on anything else here? Uh, there's something here. Inside a figurine, you find some money. Oh, plus one funds. We have a single fund. What's this? That is a nice movie poster. That's all we have to say about it, I guess. Peek through peek people? Oh, someone's standing in the shadow, watching our door. Well, I guess we can't take a bath because of the water. Oh, well. Start a new mystery. It's not a good start, though. Uh, there's school scissors. There is crimson cape. Household Hell, found footage. All right, we haven't tried this one yet, Crimson Cape. Let's give it a go, see what we find. A new game is spreading upon among your friends. A desire to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. We must... Oh. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game, but that only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. It's, it's correct. If they wanted to stop kids from playing this, then the teachers should have started playing it as well. You know, that's how you make the kids not actually want to do it. Investigate the mystery. One of your friends says he doesn't believe in curses, and he intends to complete the dangerous dare. Gather gossip about the current mystery. It doesn't say where to do that. But let's investigate the... Can we go to the schoolyard, by the way? Recruit allies, learn gossip. I mean, I guess that's where we would, we would do. Alright. Observe. Raiko waves at you. They look fine. It's been so hard to get any sleep lately. I hear that. Here's Kohaku staring at the clouds. They look like heads. They look fine. Yesterday, she told me she saw it again. And this is Akito waiting for the class to begin. They look nervous. If Triple Zero didn't do those drawings, then who did? We can go to the rooftop. There's this. Talk with student. Probably leave her alone. Set up a telescope. I don't have a telescope. If I get a telescope, maybe I'll come back. Oh, there's someone else here. This is Keto. Taking his pen apart. Putting it back together over and over again. Now, have you heard about this computer program that... Dot, dot, dot. No one's saying anything about... The, what we actually want to find gossip about. Um, we can share a creepy story. Kaede seems visibly shaken by your story. I it's just a story, right? Ask to join? Okay. Now, it's been said that if you click on this, forced to help you, um, apparently my character, the, this Yakuza, is pretty good at doing this. Let's see what happens. Combined intimidation value, 68.10. Student shoves you away and escapes screaming for help, plus 5% doom. Well, maybe let's try it again. Uh, no, still didn't work. So maybe that's not working so well. Let's uh, share a creepy story. And then ask. Okay, now we have three people along with our guy. Okay. Let's investigate the school. With our full posse. 
pool is empty at this hour. It's dark, but you could swear suddenly move under the surface of the water. Hey, maybe let's just check out the lockers instead of the pool. Someone left their wallet in one of the open lockers. Sweet. We'll steal their money. We got plus two funds. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library makes mention of Akamanto. Let's go to downtown. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. Opposite you, It's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate, an icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. Huh. Which stat do you think it's gonna be? Let's examine the package. Dexter oh, dexterity success. As you, soon as you pick up the package, you realize what you're holding and drop it in horror. Plus eight experience. It had blood in it, maybe? I guess. Resolve. What's our status? Alex Perks. You. Oh, actually, I do have. I did get enough experience points to level up. All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Irizumi items in the shop shops are cheaper by one. It's not that bad, but plus one luck attuned with the natural rhythm of life. I don't think the game tells you what your luck is. It tells you the others, but I don't think it says what luck is. Poor strength, all combat moves deal an extra point damage. We're already strong, but we could be even stronger. Alright, as far as what we're doing here, clearly we, ne we need reason. We need to get some reason. We need it. Um, let's see. I wonder what plus one luck would do for us. I don't actually know. Like, this is very solid as far as what does it do. I can see exactly what it does. I don't know what this, what having plus one luck is going to do for us. Hmm. Then again, this will only help us in combat. Maybe this will help us all the time. Let's try this. Let's try plus one luck. Alright, checking out the school's pool area would be a good idea, because all the missing girls were apparently members of the school's swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnappers stalking them. Investigate school. Black sludge is what the event is called. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing out from under the door to the chemistry classrooms. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? Oh, uh, can we get the empty bottle out? Uh, I don't th think we can access our storage, can we? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think there is a, an icon here to access the storage. If we had an empty bottle, we could have done something with this, but I guess we're going to take a detour. Better safe than sorry. You take the stairs up to another floor to avoid the sludge, plus do doom. I guess it's what we had to do. Alright, one of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information. Alright, we're heading to the hospital. We never found gossip about the, about the current mystery, however. They did not have gossip about that in the schoolyard. I mean, here's item storage. 
Like, if we were going to take out an empty bottle, we could do it now, but it doesn't really... I, I doubt we will need it again. Investigate the hospital. Find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. We take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where the doctors determined the causes of death. All right, we can pull the cloth off the dissection table. We can search the cabinet, or we can check out the freezer. Um, all of all of these sound pretty good. I don't actually know why we're looking at any of them. Let's see what's in the freezer. Probably no monsters. You wouldn't have a monster in the freezer because it'd be frozen, right? I think it's how it works. You take a peek into the freezer, but can't see anything important. You wonder what could smell so awful if there's nothing inside. Meanwhile, the body on the dissection table twitches slightly. Prepare for combat! Alright, it's our first fight. The horror of countless autopsies stands before us. Hello, Jane Doe. The unsolved crime. 15 hit points. She will do damage to our reason. Which is lower, of course. Um, okay. Time to see what our boy here can do. Oh, this is a ghost enemy? Attack cannot hurt a ghost enemy. Let's see. What do we... Do we have... Spiritual actions? Like, I guess that'll hurt a ghost. Clap. Part of a ritual. Okay. Bows and claps. If we don't get it right, we'll be provided with a hint. Pray. I don't want to spend reason to get stamina back. Leave an offering. Burn a material offering and attempt to appease the ghost, dealing six damage. S six damage to the ghost? It has 15 HP, though. That doesn't sound good. Um, this one... Nothing's happening when I click on that. Sever their ties to our world. I can do it with the hammer. Deals four damage. I can only do that once per the uh, the round, so that means that would take four rounds. Hmm. It would take four rounds to do that. If I was willing to burn the money, I could do that. Well, I would have preferred to use the money in a different way. So I want to use the cigarette. It uses plus one reason, adds a new status. I can use inspect. Smoke and kills. Yeah, but we have withdrawal. Why don't we use... Oh, nicotine rush. All combat actions are faster. 0.9x combat multiplier. So, what is that going to do for us here? 120 for that, for this... Leave an offering, 126. Hmm. Still... Is not... Speeding this up, unfortunately. Maybe it would just be the physical actions? Oh, uh, current time multiplier. It still says 1.2 for current time multiplier. Do I have to, like, use the effect? I don't think so. It just... There's no use here. It just seems like a passive... A passive thing. But it says all combat actions are faster. But it doesn't seem to be happening here because my combat actions still have this 1.2 multiplier. So I don't know what's happening there. The other option, of course, is to use claps and bows. If I get it right, 
I have there's I need to use five. And if I don't get it right, I'll get a hint. And I wouldn't um I can only use one of these per round. Maybe it's actually safer to try claps and bows. Maybe. All right. Um, we're going to try claps and bows. Hold on a second. I am just going to... Well, I mean, you can't see it. I'm just going to bring up like a little notepad to just remind myself what I'm doing here. I'm going to clap, 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 clap. All right. What do I get if I do this? Clap, 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 clap. Two were right. Okay. So five claps. Five claps. And I got two right. So there are three bows. Two claps, three bows. So... What if... Um, okay, so what if I say... Bow, clap, bow, clap, bow. Which ones will be right here? Bow, clap, bow, clap, bow. Three were right. Okay. Bow, clap, bow, clap, bow. Gave me three. Right. Uh... <laughs> So, it's, kind of, it's, it's hard to say. What if we tried clap? Was that a jump scare? I guess that's what that was. Bow, 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 clap. There were three right in that one. Clap, bow, 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 clap was three right. So in both of those, the middle one was B. I guess middle is B. Has to be the right one. Probably. Um, so what are the other two? So let's see. If both of them had three right... So one option, let's see, one op, what option have I not tried yet? You could try, clap, clap, bow, 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 clap, clap, bow, bow, bow. Again, three were right. Clap, clap. Bow, bow, bow was... I get keep getting the three right. I keep getting it. Um... So I have to... I have to... Hmm. I have to ask, how is it that I'm getting three right with every attempt here? Here is... What about bow, 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 clap, clap? Bow, 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 clap, clap. Rewrite again. Bow, bow, bow. Clap, clap was three right. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um. We are slowly losing our mind. Attempting to just constantly bow and clap in a variety of orders. And... We're, it's just not happening. Um, so it has to be... It has to be two claps and three bows, because when, the first one we did, it was five claps and two were right. So it has to be the five claps and... Sorry, the two claps and the three bows. So I've been doing these in a variety of order, and it's three right every time. How can it be three right every time if I keep moving them around like this? 
Well, I, the only one I haven't moved is like the middle one, which I've had bow every time. So if I'm going to move the middle one, I could also go like... Thank you. Clap. Is that an insanity effect, maybe? Maybe that's what that is. Clap, clap, clap. No, no, no not that. Not that. Clap, bow, clap. Bow, bow is what I meant. Clap, bow, clap, bow, bow. One right. Okay, at least that's something different. That is something different. There was only one right that time. Only one right that time. So, if that's the case, maybe I should keep Bao as the middle one, and maybe I should do something like, um, clap, bow, bow, clap, bow. Again, only, that was only one right. So I did clap. No. No, no, no. So so then <laughs> so then maybe I could do a bow clap bow bow clap. I don't think I've tried that one yet. Bow clap bow bow clap. There it is, we did it! <laughs> We have overcome the ghost. You know, on reflection, maybe picking the old god that prevents us from running from combat was a bad idea. Let's resolve combat. We are almost insane at this point. Let me write down what I just did. It was a uh, bow, clap, bow... Bow clap. I believe. So. Okay. What was I even doing? I'm in the. Sc I need to go to the school. Let's investigate the school. Dark hidden cults. Dark. F oh no! I'm cursed. I'm plus curse. I have stalker. Uh, curse mind. Someone's following you. Yeah? What does that do? It doesn't give me, like, a stat effect or anything. Man, I'm almost out of my mind. I have curse that I think someone's following me, and I can't even take a bath. <laughs> uh, downtown? Sure. World of Darkness. Oh, we know about this one. Um, well, I mean, I assume it's the same thing as last time, so we're going to say, we're going to confront. Oh, failure. Well, at least it was just doom and not killing me because of reason. Uh, okay, we break the window to get inside the school. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. We are going to the toilet. Investigate the school. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you're not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she's getting closer. Oh, good. Combat. Well, she only has 11 HP. Oh, she does two damage to all. So she'll kill me in one hit. Good. <laughs> um... All right, we have combat. Let's see, we do six damage with this. Oh, if we hit with both. Hold on, can I increase the chance to hit? Yeah? Oh, I'm... Okay, I missed the, att the second attack, right, because that only affected the first one. So I missed the second one. All right, I'll die at the beginning of the next encounter. Well. Do it. Wait, what's that? We got a steak knife. But it's not gonna matter, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. 
That encounter was the final straw. Your mind is snapped. You've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane. That no old god is awaiting to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. We've perished. Well, we lost all of our reason like last time, except it happened a lot faster. A whole lot faster this time. The big problems throughout the whole thing. Wow. Um. Well, maybe we're going to take a little break. Uh, just absorb the lessons learned. And uh, I guess we're going to try a, a new run after the break. So, I'm just gonna, gonna recover from the thrashing that I just took. Uh, we will do that. We'll be right back. All right. Let's get back into this and save the world from some Elder Gods. Change the color scheme to palm trees. Just because I was looking for some pink. Looking for some pink on this color scheme. Not many pink color schemes, but I thought that maybe we should do some pink. Because we're going to go to new story. We're going to go to customize. We're going to say continue. And for our seed... Uh, do do some of this. This is going to be our seed this time. Eriko was a real tough seed. We're going to see how the bully seed turns out. Something strange is happening, as we know. Robed figures. Computers, phones, technology. Malicious beings. They're here to devour us. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, well, we already tried, of course, Haru. It did not work out too well. Um, the, the person who came in second was Mizuki. She is an idol. Um, she gets plus charisma, minus strength, starts with random ally. But we'll go with her and see how we do. All right, old gods. Yep, we know. Trying to awaken the master. All right, we tried spider. The next one was devouring fire. I kind of like the whole thing with the marble statue, like the, the monolith here. Both our damage and the enemies is increased. Um, let's give this a try. All right, the supposed cause of the destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. All right, let's go home. Mailbox is empty. Uh, we're thinking of our next... Mega Merc? We're thinking of our next move... All right, things we can... Well, none of these can do anything right now. Uh, we do... We can take a bath. Let's get some exp. There we go. Let's, uh, go to status. There's... There's me. Okay, we have five out of 100. Choose an action. How are you going to be dressed? Aspiring idol. There's rebel outfit. There's Innocent Student. There's The Collection. Sure, let's go with this one. Oh, we have a Sato. Um, let's see. What about a Sato? She's a witch! Uh, let go, gain two spells. So if we let a Sato go, we will just gain two random spells, maybe? Talk. She's waiting. I mean, I wonder if that's more valuable than having her with us. I don't know. Uh, let, oh wait, let's get up here. Mm, nothing in there this time, I guess. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. No. F Oh, no, it did say it. We got plus one fun from doing that. Okay. Nice movie poster. Nothing different. 
We okay, so we have five funds. That is a good start. Take a pee through people. Uh, there's that guy. Is that we saw him? We saw him. Okay, gotta start a new mystery. Okay, inexplicable morbid events plaguing the town for some time now. Uh, let me see something. You know, honestly, it is hard to look at this. It is. I, I was going for the pink, but man, it's a little hard to look at. Uh, this could be interesting. Haircuts? Let's see what this looks like. We can always change it, but uh, let's just see what we get when we try this enough. Okay, we have a curious case of a contagious coma. We have the eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Crimson Cape, found footage, violent vigil. Okay, Evolving Eels. We know we can get Kana. Let's see what we can get here. You know, I think that maybe we'll just change this again. Uh, here's F Faded Pumpkin looks kind of nice. Swamp Snarl, Skeletal King, Blood Lord. Mondo is very readable. Back Rooms, Riverside Incident. Sand that is very bright. Blood Dawn. Palm there, okay, that's Palm Trees. Iron Rain. Faraday. Uh, that's... Hmm? Gothic. Neon Slasher. Uh, Omen. Deep Gold. Old Print. Kind of black. I see some people saying that we should go to Faraday. We'll try that out. See how this goes. All right. Let's go to the apartments. Okay, it's this guy. Let's hang up. I don't need to minimize my doom at the cost of my... Oh, no. I already... Doing that cost me some reason. Uh, investigate the school. You know, I never really go into the library. Many of the books you can find here were donated after the accident at the library at the university building. Study old tomes. Make notes. We can get plus spell to but also increase our doom. Okay, we find the fragment we were looking for. New spell. And the skin removal. Oh no. Combat offensive deals five damage at the... Co oh, we have to spend three reason to do that. But I guess we can peel off the skin of our enemies. It does five damage. I don't really like spending that much reason. But who knows? Maybe If we have a lot of reason, maybe it will be okay. Oh, skin removal. Let's see, um... Where, where's the thing to go back? I know I learned skin removal. I didn't really want to continue... ...studying. But I don't see a button that says to go back. But then there is a lot of stuff on the screen. But I don't see an icon for it. I could make notes. We decided to make some notes about subjects that could be relevant in this case. Hopefully all our work won't go to waste. Okay, now we connect to the library. Okay, got some exp at the cost of doom. Okay. Let's, uh... Bust in. Alright, that's correct. We, uh... So, Kana. So, if we keep her, then that means we will get negative one damage received during combat, which seems really good. And that's the reason that I keep doing this case first. Oh, the sludge. We don't have an empty bottle. We're going to take a detour. Plus two doom. Get the eel. I know, Kana. 
I know. Apartments. Triple Zero. He's trying to come up with his newest story. Last time we chose the picture, and I think we lost some reason. Let us share our experiences with Triple Zero. Incredible, he shouts in excitement. How do you come up with this stuff? Sensing this story will be a huge hit, he pays you a token of appreciation. Oh, well, we got funds, but we lost experience? I didn't realize we would be spending experience, but at least we got two funds. Well, um... If we're getting these funds, maybe we should try the downtown and buy stuff. Hello. So let's see. Well, we got cigarettes, we got steak knife, sewing kit, backpack, or a surprise discount item. Um, our dex is the higher stat. Maybe we would want this weapon. Maybe that's a good thing to buy right now. Salt? Deals 8 damage for ghosts. Okay, if you encounter ghosts, you can use it, but is that only a one-time use? Because it sounds like it probably is. Compass. Oh, but yeah, I wanted to get this one. The compass seems good. Just keep getting exp. Cigarettes, compass, sewing kit, salt. Well... Salt could be good if we encounter ghosts. Kitchen salt, that's all. What about the police station? How can they help me? Request more police patrols. Share some inf Okay, that's right, I can sell my exp. Can you patrol some more? Okay, sure. Thank you. All right, let's back, go back to the apartments. Oh, it's raining blood. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. Okay, so we can calm her down or check the bathroom. So if I'm thinking about what stat is this going to check, I think when I check the bathroom on the first stream, it might have been Dex. And Dex is not that high. Calm her down sounds like it would probably use charisma. And we have high charisma, so maybe we'll do that. Success. Woman sniffs and smiles weakly. Okay, and we maxed out our reason. Good, thank you. I've come to really prize uh, my reason. Because I keep running out of it. So thank you. Kana was right. Someone's burning notes. Uh, we got the eel. Let's investigate these apartments. Oh, we have the burnt notes. Oh, well, this is not the notes, but we got we got the the thing where we have a secret admirer. We got plus two funds at at the cost of reason. I mean, look, we're a teen idol. Surely we get this kind of thing all the time, right? That couldn't be that big of a deal. Um, investigate Seaside. Right? Oh, well, this is a strength check, so it's probably not going to go well, and we don't have Arcane Grasp. All right, brace ourselves. Success! Great! And we got plus five experience for that. How are we doing on that? Impending doom, 25%. Uh, only at 18, but that's fine. Resolve. You know, last time we did the seaside quest, we just lost reason for doing that. So let's not do that. Let's go to the school. Everything slows to a crawl. Uh-oh, Time Warper. Actually, let me see something here. 
Oh yeah, that's right. We only have one person with us because Khan is gone right now. That's right. We do have to save her for her to be the permanent uh, member of the party. Time Warper. Okay, 20 HP. He'll do two damage to both stats. He has 10 power. Okay. So let's look at what we have. So, dec so if we use the steak knife, it's a high chance to hit. We'll do four damage. Uh, if we do this one, it's five damage. Prepare the attack. Next is guaranteed to hit. This is plus ten to hit. Support actions. Look for an improvised weapon. I guess we don't need to do that. Ask ally to distract. Could lose the ally, though. Let's not do that. Combat skill lowers your experience by 5, raises your chance to hit by 10. Well, I don't... It's for the rest of the encounter, which is pretty good, but... What's this one? Need stamina or reason to be lower than 3. Okay, that's just like a last-ditch effort thing. Defense. Run away. Meditate. Regain one reason at the cost of stamina. Dodge. Drastically lowers hit chance for enemy. That uses a lot of time, doesn't it? Brace for impact. That's dex based. That's strength based. Okay, so let's say if I did this did. There's enough room for it. Alright, let's give this a try. Attack. Dodge? Oh no, I feel older and weaker. He, he connected with the attack. Alright, so the dodge unfortunately didn't work. But our attack hit. There's this. Let's see. One, two not get in with a kick. Like, do something like this. Yeah, can I fit anything else in there? Time meaning. Do spiritual actions do anything here? There's clap, there's bow. What's that? Listen to the rambling. What? Learn a new spell or gain experience. Uh. <laughs> so what if I did this? One, two, three. I can fit four into that. So I fit, if I hit all of them, it'll do 16. One, two, miss, two. Okay, I only hit two. Turn three begins. All right. Guarantee to hit. So we could do this. Launch sequence. All right. Kill the time warper. Resolve combat. Well, it could have gone worse, I guess. We did take some damage, though. But, uh, investigate neighbor's apartment. Okay, so I guess we are at the end of our- of the thing here. Because now it's time to... Let's not go into the bathroom, because apparently we always lose reason if we do that. Let's check the bedroom. Hello, Kana. I am gonna lose some reason doing this, but... Okay, here comes the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> There you go. I mean, you, if you, you dread it, it's going to happen, but you feel a lot better once it's done. Let's fall asleep. All right. Everything went... It went better than our previous attempt. It went better. Old God stirs. What happens? Uh, okay, hospital is busy. Skipping line will cost us more if we need to go to the hospital. Well, that's better than what we got previously, where the tap water was unusable. I prefer this one. Let's take the key. We got a key. Let's uh, watch some TV. 
search for a missing person continues in the forest surrounding Shiokawa. We do not have any information, though. I do wonder what we can use with the phone, but... Not giving us uh, any phone numbers so far. Okay, take a bath. Uh, let me take a look at my stats. Uh, this does not tell me what I want to know. There we go. I want to recover some reason, so cold water helps us clear our mind, I guess. I don't have a, an, an empty bottle. Okay, we got one reason point. Change clothes. Well, yeah, let's go with Aspiring Idol this time. No, I don't think there's any additional monies that we can get. Looking good. People? They, I, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I see you. I see what you're doing. Alright, so I guess we're going to start a new mystery. Alright, so now we got Kana with us on a permanent basis. Um, we have not done... I don't think we've seen this one, The Curious Case of a Contagious Coma. Let's give this one a try. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. Hmm. Investigate the mystery. Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Let's see. Pa investigate the village location twice to complete the quest. Village, you say? All right, let's see if we can find patient zero. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? Hmm, no way we're going to eat that. One bite won't hurt. What kind of check might this be? I don't... I don't know what the check here is going to be. Maybe won't bite, won't hurt? Okay, strength check success. And that was our lowest stat, too. Feeling the eyes of the restaurant's guests on your back, you take a small bite of the smelly seafood. It's surprisingly good, but you kindly refuse another serving. Plus five experience, plus one stamina. Good. Okay. Let's try the village again. No one answers when you knock, knock at Professor Takauchi? Well, I mean, we know that Taman Takauchi has gone to the village of Hanada. Unfortunately, he never returned, so I don't think anyone's going to be here. This is odd, since he's normally punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong, and quick look, you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the Professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt as to what has happened. But how? And why? We don't have occult sign skills. So do we, do we search the room for clues like a detective, or do we scavenge the room for useful items? Let's scavenge. Oh no, perception check is failure. You search the room but can't find anything. The sound of police sirens force you to jump through a broken window, and you're injured. Oh, negative two stamina. Oh no. We just got some stamina back from uh, eating food. An old man from the village hands me a package. This should help you understand the illness. Plus item. We got the dust to see in. Let's see. Magic powder momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible. Use. Set enemy power to zero. So I guess the, the, the partially visible thing is passive. Maybe, but if we use it, then an enemy's power gets set to zero. Perhaps. All right, we got this then. Maybe it'll help us with invisible enemies, which I didn't know was a thing. Investigate the school. You stumble upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation. I always liked going to the computer room at school. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm, I don't have knowledge. 
You find a curious folder containing photos. With rising horror, you discover that you're in every one of them. The last photo shows a smiling man standing over your bed. Negative two reason. Well, that is a little unusual. I mean, as a teen idol, we will be in many photos, but the one about the smiling man standing over the bed? Eh. It's a little unusual. Reports mention a patient zero. Who could they be? This door shouldn't be here. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. Uh-oh, do we go in or do we resist the pull of the door? You know, an open door leading to nothing is tempting. Like, if we, do if we don't go in, we won't know where it leads. And we're here to be a detective. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Slowly, we enter the unknown. Where are we? Oh, we're lost in time and space. You drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Oh good, we're in the boreal expanse. The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Well, we can move towards the pyramid. We could check the icy coast. Or just give up. I mean, giving up sounds bad. I you know, those pyramids are pretty attractive. Maybe we should check out some pyramids. St yes, success. The frozen guard corpse is standing on eternal guard duty. Find you worthy. The usurper king kindly decides to share his forbidden knowledge with me. Well, I got plus 30 experience, which is good. I don't like losing that reason, but... At least we can level up now. Thank you, usurper king. So, okay, so we can be uh, Fame, which is faster combat actions for each ally we have. We have two. It's probably pretty good. Occult Signs, small X bonus for casting spells. I mean, that only really depends on how often will we cast spells. And we could have used this earlier when we were in uh, Takauchi's apartment, but will we ne ever need this again? I don't know. Parting Gift. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus to one of the stats. I like this one, since we're trying to build a party, right? Like, I don't intend to actually let people go, so... Let's do that. Also... Our reason is low. This always happens. The reason is always low. Oh, by the way, do I need to... Equip that, by the way, the dust is seeing. I should check that. Um, let's buff the reason. Oh, why did the, why is the strength so low? Was that light? That wasn't like that before. How did our strength get that low? Huh. Well, the reason keeps going down. I'm just gonna have to go with reason. Let me see something here. Dust is seeing... Uh, no, it doesn't look like there's a thing for equipping. White dust, it has no spell. Iocane powder. Um... Frostbite. Injury minor, negative two strength, okay. Well, if I can get rid of the frostbite, then... We'll get rid of that. Resolve the event. Okay. Reports mention a patient zero? Um... I guess let's go to downtown. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and the shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Well, we don't have a shovel. I guess we could have dug something up here. Um, You know, it's never... You always want to be assertive. 
you don't want to just run away. You know, if you feel that you might be threatened, well, let's confront the stranger. Our charisma... Ch oh, charisma failed. That's our high one, too. A priest from the nearby temple asked what you were doing. When you can't make up a lie, you're thrown out. Negative one is stamina. Unfortunately, we our charisma was not high enough to charm the priest. We have to sneak into the hospital and borrow the information. Okay, well, if we're going to the hospital... Can we, like, heal our injuries? Many sick people are waiting to be examined. You have some time before we're asked to the office. Well, we could spend some doom. Um, how can he help us today? Additional actions available on the injury cards. Can you do something for this, doctor? Oh, we got hasty aid. When re receiving a combat stem and a wound, replace hasty aid with a new random inch. When, when our stamina gets da gets depleted, we are going to get a new injury? Is that what that's saying? Well, I guess you get the medical care that you're paying for, I suppose. But at least our strength is back up to five. Um, let's investigate the hospital. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. Elevator doors open. Luck check is failure. Oh no. Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up back at the doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. Negative three reason. Uh, a reason keeps getting hit. But we got the name and address. Let's get out of here. Um, okay. Let's... We're still investigating the hospital, I guess. When the patient came home one morning, covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as we pass by. We can talk, or... <laughs> if we had the paranoia status, we could do something. You'd think the paranoia status would be a bad thing to have but I guess we could have used it here. Let's talk to them. Charisma check success. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and the crazy person is that you haven't been caught yet. You convince them to sneak out and join us on our quest. We got a new party member. It's Yoichi. He's a salary man. If we let him go, he doubles our available funds. I know all the loopholes. So if we let him go, we'd have six funds? I mean, that could be valuable, but... What's that smell? But also, the more party members we have, the faster our combat abilities will be. So, it's, this is good so far. We're rolling deep. Uh, let's go to downtown. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Steal his gun. <laughs> Check his wounds for clues. Escape before more people arrive. Oh, I don't know. A gun would be useful. Checking his wounds for clues might lead to something. But if someone catches us stealing the gun... It could be a problem. Uh... What kind of check is this gonna be? Dexterity, maybe? Dexterity is six. Uh, I guess... I guess... Cons look, in our fight against the Elder Gods, maybe we'll be able to shoot them with a gun. He won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad about stealing it from a corpse. Oh, we lost three reason doing that. Let's see, one-handed firearm, damage three, speed 80, chance to hit 80, damage when shot, nine. Do these things have ammo? It doesn't say it has ammo. Where uh, Does it say that? I'm looking around to see if... 
Oh, bullets. There it is. Bullets. It says two. Okay. Inspect. New Manbu N60. Designed in the 60s. Alright, so if I equip this... It does replace my knife. So I guess that's the question of, do I... I only have two bullets. Which one do I actually want to have equipped here? Because when I'm in a fight, I can't equip something. I'm just going with what I have. So... Do I want to use the gun in the next fight I get into? I don't think I can really predict what kind of fight I'm getting into. So... Hmm... So, the gun is based on per, which is six, just like our decks. I guess let's equip and see what happens. The only thing I'm, I don't know about is, like I said, I don't know what the next fight is going to be. Like, if if we were in a, a chapter, that I already, a story that I already did, and I knew when the boss was coming, that's when this is going to be useful. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe considering that, maybe I should just use the, the knife for right now. And, like, if we go to a story that I already know about, like the one with the scissor woman, and I can just pull it on her? Maybe? That man dabbled in magic. You found a journal. Describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual. It seems that he tried to contact the being from the dream realms. You don't say. Pillar of Flame. A sudden blast of heat grabs our attention. An older man stands next to you, screams in pain, as he is engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the difference. When she sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of the supernatural attack. Well, the only choice we have is to pursue. Dexterity check is failure. The hooded woman disappears behind a corner. When you get there, she's gone, already mixed in with the crowd. They failed to stop you today, but you're sure they'll try again and again. Plus two doom. Well... That's not much of a penalty, so I get, that's good at least. Okay, we're in, going to the hospital. Find a way to sneak through. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. I mean, that's kind of rude, I would say, but... We're fight. Okay, so... We're fighting the Dalners. 21 hit points. Oh, she attacks Reason. Why does everyone attack Reason? <laughs> we keep getting hit in the Reason. Okay. But 21 hit points. And I don't think she's a ghost. Yeah, we have our physical attacks. Okay, so... So if, if I just did this... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... That's 20... If I hit everything. I hit four. It's pretty good. And uh, so what that means is... Can I use the prepare to gar the, uh, guarantee hit? And uh, that'll do it. But my reason is so low. There it is. Let's hope you find an answer here quarantine rank wing you manage to sneak through the floor avoiding the police and finally reach the quarantine ring where all the coma patients were brought in their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping you must hurry oh we have the dust we did the side quest so we have the dust what happens when I use the dust is it gonna be a fight should I equip this gun? I guess let's go for it. 
Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. As you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. Okay. Prepare ourselves. The creature causing the contagious coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or, per or perish. Okay, it's Dream Devourer, 37 hit points. He does two d to all. Of course, he's going to hit our reason. Um, he's not a ghost. Because we can, like, do this. Um, but still... Let's see. If we use weapon, it's four damage. And then it's five damage. Doesn't seem like... Uh, doesn't seem like there's a reason to have used this. In oh, no, there's this down here. 10 damage, okay. Fire weapon is 10 damage, base chance to hit. So we have two bullets. Let's see, if we guarantee to hit, what if we do this? Mm, that's not enough. Well, we could, let's see. So that'll guarantee that we hit that. I think spiritual actions would probably be needed here. Well, where's the hit chance for the enemy? So maybe I should use that. No, actually, I don't. I, I cannot actually dodge. Do not have enough space in here. Um, there's skin removal. Cost of three reason, though. I mean, if we forget it, we get an additional reason. If we take damage, we're gonna get another injury, aren't we? It's probably gonna happen. Do I want anyone to do anything here? Probably not. It's probably just good to keep everyone. the spell to get the additional reason because I don't think <clears throat> I don't think there's any point where I will want to use three reason considering the way this has been going right I don't think there will be all right so now I have five reason so let's see I don't want. I don't want to use an enemy, an ally. I don't want to use an ally to distract. Don't want to do that. I would like to be able to dodge. Um, Sixty to hit. It would be good if I could guarantee that it was gonna hit. Like it seems that making sure that it's guaranteed to hit is worthwhile. Unplug life support? 
I'm needed 190. The monster seems to gain its strength from the sleeping patients. Unplugging life support of one of them will weaken it, but kill that patient. Deal damage, it'll cost three reason. Wow. <laughs> well, I can't afford that much reason to begin with. But wow, that's, uh, that's quite a thing. Um... <laughs> Man, we are willing to do any th whatever we need to do, aren't we? Yeah, I'm thinking that guaranteeing that we attack with the gun is probably worth it. I don't think unplugging the life support is going to be good because again it won't it won't kill in one hit and then we'll lose three reason and then it'll tack with the two reason Is there a defensive option that I could be using? There's meditate, regain one reason at the cost of two stamina. It might actually be worthwhile. Um, brace for impact, but I can't do that right. I can't do any of these because I don't have enough space. I, I, I wish it was gain two reason at the cost of two stamina. I wish it was. But the fact that I'm so low on reason might mean that it's actually good to use this. Maybe we'll do it. All right, then what do we fill the rest of this with? There's, oh, actually, there is enough for a kick. Three damage, four damage, 80%, 70%. I guess this is like pistol whipping with the revolver. It's perception based. Perception is six. All right, I guess this is what we're going to try. Ringing ears. Broken bone and an old wound reopened. Dream devourer melts our memories. Broken bone. Negative one strength, negative one dexterity. Ringing ears. All combat actions are slower until the end of the current mystery. Ugh. Man. <laughs> okay. Guarantee. Shoot. Um... And kick, I guess. My mind is on fire. So, I use my bullets. Don't have any more. And yeah, I still need to hit with ten. And he will, at the next, like, I guess I need to meditate. just to give myself another reason. Oh, wait. The, th the thing we haven't tried. What was that? What was this? Doubles all damage dealt during this turn. That seems like what we, what we need. The desperate struggle. So if I said guarantee and then this... Alright, Dream Devourer has been destroyed, and we are doing really bad. This was, a this was actually desperate. The creature's severed body falls on the floor and starts melting slowly. The remaining part slithers back into the now closing hole in the ceiling. You've managed to catch a glimpse of the other side. The other side makes you fall on your knees. It wasn't its body that you managed to cut off. It was just a finger. Shaken, you sneak out from the hospital. One thing is certain, though. It's the end of this weird illness. The curious case of a contagious coma. Ending A. Rewards for solving the mystery. Dream Eater. Hospital's now safe. We got 30 exp. Uh, 50, plus 15 exp. Negative 3 doom. Plus 1 reason stamina, which we desperately need. Time passes one day. What is the old god doing? Tell me what it's doing. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. Well, at least my tap water is still working. 
so that's fine. And, uh, well... Buttons aren't, don't seem to be doing anything. Oh, because, okay, uh, X, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, no, I had to close that, right. I'm still on the edge of my seat from that thrilling battle that we almost did not recover from. Okay. Available perks. Signed contract. Extra funds for completing a mystery. That's good, but it would, I don't know if we need it right now. Plus one perception. Add an eye for art and details. That could always be good. Plus one luck. Um... Um, I mean, I'm told that plus one luck, that luck is incorporated into all of the, the roles that we do. So, that could be very good general thing. And, of course, perception would only help with roles that involve perception. Is... I wish I had a better idea of how exactly luck works. We know what perception does. Maybe I'll just go with perception. Okay, uh, our buff could buff my charisma. Um, but we really need to boost reason. We, we desperately need it. I got a key. Let okay. Got to think of our next move. Watch some TV. All right. There's no signal. That's correct. The outside world has been cut off. Take take a bath. Okay. So we could either go for stamina or reason, but I keep getting hits to the reason more than stamina. So we'll go with go with reason. Change our clothes. Innocent student. Peephole? Yeah, no, I see you. You've been there. Okay, so... Unfortunately, uh, I am going to have to say goodnight about now, as I am running out of time. For tonight, fortunately, we can save the progress and exit the game. Um, so that is... That's what we're going to be doing. Um, Alright, so... We just... We solved the mystery. We've got, like, this party. We've got three people. We've got fame. We've got art and knowledge. So, we're doing alright as far as this goes. The only part... And as far as money goes, you know, that's not bad. The only part that we're really not doing well in is the stamina and the reason. And I guess we do need to go to the hospital to, um... Fix this broken bone. Gotta get that done. So, I mean... Okay, the police revolver... It's empty of bullets, so I guess we can just equip, equip the steak knife back. Oh! The steak knife is dex. Police for all of her is purr. Yeah, I guess actually just pistol whipping with this. I guess is better. Because our perception is high. Higher than dex. So maybe that's the case. Alright, so let's just remember what we need to do. We need to go to the hospital. To heal ourselves. Um, the thing that we're doing pretty bad in, our, sta our uh, stamina and reason, everything else I think is not bad. Um, but we're just going to save? You decide to spend your ta some time with your family living in a nearby town and rest, feeling tainted by the horror you've experienced here. Deep inside, you'll know you'll be forced to return one day. Saving loading is an experimental feature, is it? <laughs> Can leave for unforeseen bugs or crashes. I'm sorry, I really need to, so we're gonna have to save. I'm taking a break! Level 3, difficulty... okay. 
Um, take your time. Go outside. Take a nap. This doom town isn't going anywhere. Well, we'll find out if saving works on the next stream of World of Horror as uh, we continue playing as the teen idol who is the only hope for the world to be saved from being consumed by an elder god. We will find out next time. And this particular color scheme we've been using has been pretty good. Um, so we'll continue on as the teen idol using the bully seed and see how the next one goes. I'm going to have to say goodnight, so... Good night. I'll see you next time. <laughs>